Alright, welcome to another session of What the Fuck, Captain's YouTube Atheist Community and Tiny Chat Debate Style Type Fun. Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> you know, last night. Yes, yeah, uh, it wasn't feeling very well last night. Still am not anxious and uncomfortable and nauseous and ugh. Anyway, um, I'm tired. I'm sort of tired. Um, but anyway. On with the show. Yeah, it's really a good one. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so last night was okay. You know, got through it. Blah, 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 blah. Had some interesting bits. And, uh, but, yeah, mostly not interesting bits, I suppose. Um, yeah, it was tolerable, but that's all it was. Uh, it's just uh, underperforming, so I do have to do something with it. Make it do something better, more, and all that crap. So, my job. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's all. Um, generally speaking, in YouTube, it's just horrible here. I mean, the conversation has just gotten... Uh, you know, I, mean, I can just point to some of this shit. So this is this incredibly boring Matt video of some asshole talking about crap. <laughs> so then this conference report doing a video about how you know, he wouldn't mind blowing people off or licking their anuses and having their dicks in his ass and I mean oh, fuck. anyway and then this Gary Edwards douchebag doing some whatever wishy-washy mishy mushy atheist video about how G doesn't equal C if W is in the quadrant of the Aquarius or something and then it all equals banana cream pie kind of crap, you know, some sort of crap about how there's something other besides facts <laughs> and rational interpretation of facts, that humans are compulsive liars and that's one of the truths we have, so yeah, we know that when humans are saying something that sounds silly, it probably is silly. Um, fuck, this is just so stupid, somehow we have to disprove um, every single pile of crap a human being makes up. So if I say that snow is unicorn farts, somehow you have to be agnostic on that truth until somebody proves there's no unicorns and that snow doesn't come out of their ass. I mean, it's just stupid. You know, you don't have to disprove lies. <laughs> yeah, no, you really don't. The stuff people make up, you don't have to disprove it. They have to prove it. They have to provide one little shred of rational evidence to indicate it's possible that that's true um, or reasonable to believe that's true. You can't just make up the entire story and then say, prove me wrong. That's just crap. So fuck that pussy atheism shit. Ugh. You know, and then the modern mystic made a video. I mean, you know, don't want to rag on the whole fan, but yeah, she made a video with no audio on it, which is helping you know, It happens. Um, but the modern mystic made some video called Hope, and it didn't make any sense either. It just wasn't of any value whatsoever. Uh, and I mean, I couldn't interpret anything out of it. Some kind of notion that you have to live for something besides yourself. I mean, that'd be nice in theory that if that were true, but I don't think that has anything to do with reality. I think people can be live perfectly mission-oriented lives, and their mission could be, I'm going to be happy, I'm going to get what I want, and, you know, yeah, they're all going to end up dead in the end, so if that's your argument, everybody ends up dead in the end anyway, so it doesn't matter, okay, but I don't know what this argument was. It didn't mean anything to me. It didn't make any sense to me. You can either live a life that's productive, or you can live a life that's not productive. That's the, your choices. You can either benefit the sentient life on Earth, make the world a better place, or you can trash the dump and uh, make it miserable for the, the people that have to follow you into the bathroom. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's your choice. You can either leave it cleaner than when you got there, or you can fuck it up. There, those are your two choices. Fuck it up or leave it cleaner. Uh, happy? Yeah, well, happy is a freaking state of mind, so get over yourself. Um, whatever. Yeah, I just make, you know, that part is, you know, outside of the physical thing, you know, outside of the fact that our physical body is going to um, harass us to some extent, and some people more than others. Um, yeah, I, I mean, if you're struggling to be happy and you have your health and all that other crap, well, then you're doing it wrong. 
um, because uh, there is joy in any in, you know any game you can play. You can play it and enjoy it. You just get into it and play the game. So if the game is chase and tail, you can play chase tail. You don't need a mission beyond a selfish mission. So I don't. Well, whatever. I just this video just yeah, forget it. it. Didn't go anywhere. Um. Yeah. So that's the kind of conversation there is. It just there's nothing here. Das Buch is just totally lost in babble of, you know, spiritual mumbo-jumbo because he saw some little, whatever, circular infinity symbol flying around the room. So, therefore, that's the truth. And uh, so you can't argue with that. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah. No, whatever, all very discouraging. So then I'll read some really stupid comments and call it a video then, right? Yeah, why not? Um, so this Quinta asshole, I did block him. So I went to his YouTube channel and blocked him. But he's still commenting. So now I've banned him on, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, you can do this banning thing. Um, you know, banned from channel. You know, you can do that. But this seem to do anything yet. You know, it doesn't make the comment go away, which is curious. So I don't know what it means. Yeah, I suppose I could just delete it. I can certainly do that. I mean, it's not even an interesting comment, so I won't even bother reading it. So yeah, okay, I can, was able to delete it. But um, yeah, it is strange that you can you can you can either block somebody on the YouTube channel or ban them on the Google Plus channel, which you know, which one does what and what. And so I mean, it just seems obvious that blocking doesn't do anything. It seems that way. So anyway, this Blackbeard guy, 03 Blackbeard, okay, no icon, so he calls himself Blackbeard, but he can't even come up with an icon, which is really kind of bogus. And it's all this dude talk and bro and bullshit, you know, this, these, these patronizing cunt bastards, you know, they think they have something to say, they say nothing, they just ridicule and they back it up with nothing. I bet, I bet he doesn't, obviously, I bet he doesn't make videos. Uh, dude, get out of your head, man. Yeah, I mean, that's just... Wow, that is just so profoundly interesting. You know, they ought to write that. Dude, uh, get your, <laughs> you know, get out of your head, man. You know, when we send probes into space, instead of putting records full of Earth history and all that shit on it, no, I just write, dude, get out of your head, man. Because that's just so fucking interesting. It's so intelligent, profound, and meaningful. No, it's just rubbish from ignorant fucking whatever. Colon worms. Uh, you seem to have a bee in your bonnet. Oh, write that on there just to prove that this guy was a dork. On top of being an asshole, he was a dork. Who the fuck says shit like that? Mary Poppins? Ugh, you fucking queer. <laughs> yeah. And I don't mean, like, queer sexually. I mean queer in that you're fucking weird and strange and cruddy and you're like a fucking sloppy shit. Ew. I think you need some zen. Yeah, well, I think you need to get run over by a steamroller. Yeah, that's what I think you really do. I think it would improve you profoundly. I think the whole experience would have a meaningful impact on you. Uh, try stilling your thoughts. Yeah, that's just another... Wow, that's such brilliant advice. Yeah, that's what the world needs. It needs more people with still brains. Yeah, like you. A little still brain zygote. You're fucking, you're probably, yeah, that's probably what you are. You're probably some aborted fetus that crawled out of the goddamn garbage can. Fucking retard. Anti-natalism will never be the norm. And so says the asshole who's never heard of Japan, I guess. Or never heard of Europe. Or never heard of any sophisticated country on Earth that has negative population growth. Yeah. Never heard of those, have you, huh? smart guy. Never heard of this concept that most educated people don't have more than two kids. You haven't figured that fucking shit out yet, dumbass. 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 Most people are behaving like anti-natalists. Most people, if you put it on a goddamn ballot, if you gave them the right to, to check it off on the ballot, you know, some kind of thing like, let's not give welfare to dumb bitches having eight kids, they'd probably vote for it, you know, fuckhead. So, you know, this whole fucking anti-natalism thing could happen tomorrow, 
All right, the majority of people are sick of assholes and they're sick of butt shit waste products like you, you fucking cunt. Let's put you on the goddamn ballot and see how you survive. What most people are going to do. Never be the norm. I think it will be the norm that people will say, yeah, assholes like this, little spammy, weak, uh, cowardly fuckheads like this suck. Yeah. I think that will be the norm someday. Some someday people will be smart enough to figure out you're made out of shit. Uh, people still keep on breeding to this <clears throat> to the end of time. Yeah, people. What people is that? Oh, that's right. The idiocracy will keep on breeding. That's right. Yes. If <laughs> you know, if you don't do anything to control rabbits, they'll breed. But if the smart rabbits say, "Well, let's not pay the dumb rabbits to breed anymore. Let's not give them welfare checks to have too many kids." You know, let's not encourage the bad behavior. Then I guess the whole thing could be changed, couldn't it? And the argument, again, still is most people, shithead. So, I mean, this idea that, you know, because the, a minority of the human race decides to have eight kids, that somehow that's the human race, you know, that's really dumb and ignorant to say, oh, I'm going to define the human race based on what 10% of the human race is doing. That's the definition of the human race. You can't figure out how that's really ignorant and stupid. To say that, oh yeah, I'm going to define the human race by the exceptions, not the rule. Yeah, stupid fuck. Get yourself a new hobby. Well, get yourself a fucking life, you fucking prick. See if you can figure out how to grow enough balls to make a real argument, you useless sack of shit. <laughs> yeah, so here he is again. This anti-natalism jive, so now we're at jive. Uh, dude jive. Jive, dude, jive. Yeah, that's just so hip and cool. You're almost groovy. You're so cool. Ugh, all turns upon a response to suffering. Well, I guess everything might... It might be sensible to have almost everything turn on a response to suffering. You know, torture, torment, you know, people in concentration camps and shit. Yeah, it sort of might make sense that if the world's going to turn on something or if your perspective is going to turn on something, that of all the things in the goddamn universe that it should turn on, maybe suffering makes sense. Yeah, maybe that's something that should influence people. Maybe not Super Bowls or how high the AstroTurf is or whether it's glued down properly. All those things might be a little bit trivial and superficial and irrelevant. And maybe suffering might mean something. But, uh, yeah, no, you're too smart to figure that out, huh? Yeah, smart people can't. That's way too ignorant. Figuring out that suffering might be important. That's being stupid. Fucking asshole. Let's not forget that at a certain point, the human mechanism will switch off. Says you. What proof do you have of that? Oh, that's right. Absolutely no proof whatsoever. <laughs> okay, yeah. Speaking of, you know, football analogies, you know, it's football day. Um, you know, when Joe Theismann had his leg busted by Lawrence Taylor and he was squir squirming on the ground yelling so loud it was making Lawrence Taylor sick, physically ill. Uh, so he was screaming like such a bitch, a woman. Um, somehow this, this pain thing didn't switch off. The suffering button somehow didn't switch off. <laughs> no, no, the guy was absolutely in horrific and awful pain. No switch. There was no switch where it just said, Oh, this is okay. I'm fine. Yes, my leg went backwards and I'm all I'm, I'm all good with that. I'm fine. I'm comfy. Hey, I'm cool. No, they had to shoot him up with morphine before he shut up, asshole. God, you fucking people are so fucking ignorant. You just say this shit like it's somehow a truth and it's not the fucking truth. You know what? So that makes you just a lying scumbag. You know, when you say things that aren't true, it makes you a liar, asshole. Uh, there is undoubtedly, so it's undoubtedly, some pretty bad suffering in this life. <clears throat> um, more for some people than others. Well, there, you finally got something right. But, beginning a sentence, pain and suffering does not mount. <laughs> and mount and mount. Well, says you. Look, you want me, let's do some experiments on you, asshole. Let's whack one of your feet with a hammer, and then we can whack your hand with a hammer, and then we can just work our way to your nuts, and we'll just see if it mounts or not, asshole. I mean, this is just stupid. Have you heard of torture, asshole? Torture isn't torture because somehow you just all of a sudden, oh, yeah, you can't hurt me anymore. <laughs> you stupid fuck. Uh, there is a switch-off point. Ah, yeah, whatever. 
off. No, there's no switch off point, jackass. Uh, you get me? No, of course I don't get you because you're scum and you're shit and you're drool and you're vomit. You're a piece of goddamn crap. Of course I don't get you. I wouldn't want you. I think you should get run over by a fucking steamroller. All this shit depends on your emotional and psychological response to suffering. Well, emotional and psychological. Well, there you go. So you don't understand what a philosophy is, do you? You don't know what logical deduction is either, right? So, yeah, you think it's all about your emotions and your psychology. I think it's about something called your reasoning, your capacity to reason, jackass. Um, having survived a serious psychiatric episode, oh, so you're conceding that you're a fucking lunatic, and abuse from a whole range of, oh, here we go, oh, more, I didn't realize it was more, how exciting, oh, damn, it goes to the video, why doesn't it just show you the damn comment, why do I have to go to the fucking video, and then hit the same button all over again, uh, okay, Let's see. Oh, now he's going to complain about uh, and abuse from a whole range of individuals and state agencies. Oh, now you sound like a little whining bitch. Oh, did they make you hurty wordy? <laughs> I thought you said suffering doesn't matter, asshole. Anyway, I think I've earned the right to speak on the subject of suffering. Oh, so that's how you define what what what, what is a, a having a rational, sensible perspective. No, I don't think you have a right to talk about anything because you're a liar, okay? Your fucking post is full of statements that are not true. Switch off point. Off point. Ugh, stupid idiot. My attitude towards suffering now is now bring it on motherfucker well that's just so enlightening so i can go ahead and smash your nuts with a goddamn sledgehammer and you're just going to say bring it on bring do some hey give me some more lad i like it it's fun you're an idiot uh you want to bring shit to my door boy fucking bring it yeah that just makes so much sense so you want fucking testicle cancer you want uh, liver cancer you're, you're just all in the mood for it. You can't wait for the chemo. Oh, you're an idiot. But be aware that things are unlikely to end well for you, whatever that means. Uh, you have to come to enjoy feeling, to enjoy feeling on pain. Feeding on pain. Feeding. You have to come to enjoy feeding on pain. So you have to do something completely unnatural and idiotic. Something completely opposite of the function of the biology. And then you're going to say you're somehow living a purposeful and, and sensible life. I mean, it's bad enough that people are doing as the DNA says. But you do the exact opposite of what the DNA says. It's also, it's like double retarded. I mean, the DNA is wrong. But to sit there and say, let's all glorify suffering and become, and enjoy feeding on suffering. That's really idiotic. And use that shit to get ahead, whatever that means. Oh yeah, you can get you you can go far having your legs lopped off. No room in my life for crying behind. Well, you just whined about your little oh the poor little government hurt me. Uh, you know, crying behind the fucking door like some pussies. Well, I guess you sound like a pussy asshole. So I just you know what's what's the contradiction here? Why are you bemoaning your experience with the government and how many people in your psychiatric episode and all that kind of crap? Why are you whining about that shit? Because apparently it made you stronger, made you the wonderful cyborg that you are now. So why are you bitching? Hmm? Oh, life is a mixed bag. Oh, gee, that's just, again, that's so enlightening. Life is a mixed bag. I mean, that says so much. It's just so, wow. I would have never figured that out. You mean it's a mixture of good things and bad things? Gee, uh, I would have never discovered that unless the fucking enlightened douchebag, uh, you know, said mixed bag. Yeah, that just says so much about what it really is and how good the trade-offs are and how uneven and unfair the trade-offs are. You know, how proportional all the pain and suffering is disposed. Fuck you. Uh, you take the rough with the smooth. Well, yeah, says you again, right. So you, all I can say is I hope you get exactly all the rough, okay? Because you shouldn't, you know, you should get the worst of it. If you're going to sit there and say you're tough enough and you're, you're game, then yeah, it should fall on you. It shouldn't fall on anybody else. If there's, a, if there's a worst way to die possible, the slowest, most miserable, most horrible way possible, it's you should fall on you, fuckhead. God, you suck. Quit being so pessimistic, dude. Well, fuck you, dude. All right? I mean, fuck 
you asshole. Fuck you, douchebag, with this dude bullshit. What are you, what are you, four years old? What are you, Spongebob or something? You can't have a rational conversation with other human beings? You gotta sit there, what, dude? You think that's what, some sort of, you know, where, where, where in all of human culture has the word dude been used by anything but an asshole and an idiot? A, a person who doesn't give a fuck. A, a way of dissing somebody. Dude. Uh, you'll be dead soon enough anyway. Like that, oh, that just makes it all make sense. Yeah, I'll be dead soon enough anyway. That's right. All the Holocaust victims are dead. All the victims of all the fucking horrors throughout human history are all dead. And somehow that makes it all okay because they're dead. No, it doesn't make it all okay. It doesn't make it all just disappear like it never fucking happened, you fucking asshole. We're talking about the future, douchebag. But you can't even figure that out. Uh, we all will. Yes, like I don't know this either, huh? You you really think that's a profound observation you've made? We're going to die. Gee, how profound. Nobody knew that. You have to come along and, 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 and explain that to us. Uh, the answer to antinatalism is the eternal, what, recurrence? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not an answer to anything. The eternal re recurrence by the dumbest idiocracy 10% of the human population. So the 90% shouldn't take control of their world. The people who know how to drive the bus and know have some sort of sense of the road, they shouldn't drive the bus. They should go find the 10 dumbest people on the bus and let them drive the bus. And that's logical. That's the answer. The answer is put stupidity in control. Put retardation in control. You know, I'm sure that's what you would vote for, retard. The overman and love of fate. Yeah, so this is why Nietzsche is a cunt. <laughs> and this is why these Nietzscheites are cunts. And this is why I, I, I would vote against it. You and your Oberman, you and your took a complete failure, your desperate wish that you could be something. And you can't even fucking manufacture an icon. You fucking talking of the Oberman. You can't even manufacture a fucking icon. And you think you're the master of the universe. Jeez, what a useless douche. Alright, so this guy definitely gets banned. Fuck off. See, it disappeared here. <laughs> it's fuck, I was gonna go find out if there's anything at all on his channel. Oh, here's another link. Let's go find out who the Blackbeard is, if there's any information at all. Besides being a cunt. Oh, look at that, he followed the uh, link on the video to the God on Trial video. <laughs> That's funny. The comment below his was from uh, Do in the Morning, who posted a link to this God on Trial. It's not a bad movie. I mean, it's you know, it's, it's you know one of these BBC things. It's you know the acting's fairly good, but it's not really God on Trial, right? It's the Jehovah, uh, you know, Jewish God on Trial, and it just really the trial ends with a description of the Exodus from Egypt. And that's pretty much the, you know, you could come up with any one of the stories, like Noah's story, you know, annihilate all the humans because somebody did something wrong. And, you know, you can just look at all the pieces of the Bible and say, well, what's the excuse for this? You could even say, why did you invent leprosy, God? You could put God on trial just for leprosy alone, right? And then you could go through all the other plagues that we've had to endure, um, you know, bubonic plague. Why did God fix it, say that's a good idea? Let's have a stupid microbe in a flea that jumps on rats and then jumps on humans and kills them horribly and slowly. Well, yeah, what's, what's God's plan there? Polio, AIDS, you can go down the list of all the little horrors imposed and somehow they're imposed in some uneven way. And then, you know, but the real statement was, you know, it was, it was, it was the... God's punishment, you know, to let Pharaoh decide that the firstborn of, of Egypt should die. This whole idea of let's punish the children for the crimes of the parents. What kind of fucking insidious monster of a God? You know, why would you accept a God who sees justice in punishing children for the crimes of the parents? I mean, it's just so fucking stupid and ignorant. Why should that be an acceptable tenet in any religion? 
and the most popular religions on earth accept that notion as being somehow logical. And that should be just the giveaway right there, that this god crap is invented by sadistic motherfucking cunt bastards. Anyway, like this fucker. Like this useless sack of fucking shit. Yeah, there's nothing here to... What the hell is this? Uh, a poem in words. I don't even know what that says. It's not his. He didn't post these videos. These are just videos he liked. So that's all the activity there is. He liked a couple of videos, so that's not very useful. Let's see if there's anything on the about page. No, nothing. It's got five subscribers. <laughs> How interesting. Fucking asshole. So anyway, well, he's got 30 subscribers. These are the ones. He's, he's only subscribed to five people I've never even heard of. And they all look like lunatics and juggling a little fart. Some chunky, chunky mark. What's a chunky mark? Whoops, I didn't mean to subscribe, obviously. I just unsubscribe. I like this. Where's, where's it? So you can't see his subscribers. You know, they've changed the rules. So, out of luck there. So, anyway, fuck this cunt. I'll, I'll think I will ban him and block him. So, I'll also block him. Blocked. There. So, now he's bandy blocked. So anyway, enough of a video. Such. I hate the internet. I hate the human race. I just really dislike the whole thing. I do hate being alive lately. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Lord of the Flies. <laughs> yeah, Lord of the Flies. <clears throat> it's the fire scene near the end. Anyway, till the end. Till the end. No, till the next time. That's it. Yeah, till the end or the next time. Whatever one comes first. Theoretically, this could be the end. Theoretically. See you next time.